I sense the warrior in your heart. But are you swift enough to hunt for my tribe? A good hunter must be light on their feet and strong as ten oxen. My tribe needs pelts to build lodges and food to fill our bellies. To prove yourself, gather pelts and haunches of meat from the buffaloons. These pelts will make shelter to keep us safe from storms, and the meat will fill our bellies. We live in the shadow of Great Wings. The evil creature, Mad Claw, a blood bat, swoops down to steal our dried meat stores. Save our food from Mad Claw. My heart tells me you have the passion and cunning to face him. Ready for orders. Uh -huh. Yes? Yes, Captain. What is it, Captain? Mm -hmm. Yes? At your command, yes? At what? Wait, man. Yes, Captain. Yeah.
helped ensure the tribe has food through the winter. A great hunter uses passion and cunning to defend their tribe's food from the enemy. Everything in the sky has its place in the circle of life. Mother Sky weeps that the circle is broken, and with each day she becomes more ill. A group of giant hornets have upset the order of things and plague our great Mother Sky. Their chief, Hollenate, leads their aggressive attack. To be a great hunter, one must balance the circle of life. Ease the pain of Mother Sky by defeating the giant hornets and their chief, Pollinate. Balancing our dear Mother Sky, you've proven yourself a true hunter. Go forth and practice the ways of the hunt on your journey. What you need? Got him, my
many moons, our tribe fought to keep back the enemy. But now we are weak and weary, and the enemy grows bold. The Red Sash terrorize our skies with their thunder irons. My heart grows heavy when I think of how they've hurt my people. With them, the Wild Bunch threaten our people like angry hornets. Free our skies from these Red Sash and Wild Bunch, and I will sing your praises. You've saved our sky and people from the Red Sash and Wild Bunch. My heart smiles now, but the threat has vanished. I devoted my life to the law, but there came a time when I found myself fighting men who were worse than criminals. They were evil. Something very evil just came to this place and you defeated it. Well done. Your fight woke me up, Captain. Time for my fight to begin anew. But something's holding me back. There's a cave close by with something terrible in it. A spirit of hate. A vengeance, a spirit of evil. Go to that dark cave, stranger, and defeat that spirit. Set me free so that I can hunt down evil once more. So plaything, come join me in the darkness. This spirit him trouble us no more. You have broken a mighty enemy, my captain. The spirit is no more. Well done, stranger. Now I can leave this place and fight the good fight again.
Excuse me, stranger. Are you the pirate everyone's talking about who saved Meriwether Clark and fought Santa Rana? I have need of such a brave and bold adventurer. Abe, one of my mail carriers, has gone missing. I need you to find him. Last I saw him, he was setting out for a delivery to Gold Creek over in Big Sky Country. Maybe Zeke's seen him. I came to Cooper's Roots to find my old sweetheart, Augustus McCrane, one of the finest rangers to ever wear a badge. Have you heard of him? I learned Gus had just left with the captain, that is to say, Mr. Woodrow Carr, something about some scheme their friend Jake was hatching. They were expected back weeks ago. I'll pay you a fair wage to find Gus and take this letter to him. They were headed for the watering hole. Start there. Gus and Woodrow? I've seen them. I was the one who convinced them to drive that herd of buffaloon to Big Sky. It's a rancher's paradise down there. Well, I'm afraid we parted ways. I'm laid up with a mesquite thorn in my foot. Without me to guide them, who knows where Gus and the captain will end up. They plan to camp next at Gold Creek. Go there and see what old Zeke can tell you. Crane? Sure, I seen them. I know where they's a heading, too. They're bound for Ogallala Rock. That's bison country, so be careful. Babe? Why, well, sure, I seen him. Came along not too long ago. Had a uh, delivery for someone. Uh, I fear the name escapes me. Ah, well. Anyhow, the fella Abe was looking for her was kept over by the falls. Abe headed that way. Footprints head back behind the waterfall. I think there's a cave back there. Look out! Hornets! You a sight for sore eyes. I was worried those confounded bugs would be the end of me. This is serious, stranger. Nobody knew this cave was even here, and it's got a blood hornet hive in it. I've seen what blood hornets can do. When the hive gets too big, the swarm will find another home. Heaven help anyone in their way. You can nip this in the bud. Go squash some of these blood hornets and see if you can defeat the queen. Good luck. Ready for orders. Got him, I got him. Hey -o.
guys. trapped here. The blasted hornets. There's too many of them. They stung me and now I can barely see. I'm too wobbly to walk out of here even with help. I need medicine. Dr. Coop, Cooper's roost. He'll have something. Go quick. Skyways in your debt. I came down here to find a weasel, but I figure I'll be heading out now. What you need? Blood hornet stings, you say? That's powerful venom. You were right not to move him. What I need is some fulminate of Voricum, but I'm all out. I tell you what, head over to the bison village and find dancing stars. Some may scoff at the bison's primitive customs, but their remedies are usually quite effective. Buzzing stingers are very dangerous. Their poison is deadly, even to our kind. Here, make Stone Weasel drink this. The medicine will heal him. What's that? Oh, uh, it tastes horrible. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Thank you, stranger. You saved me from these monsters. Thank you. 
who in tarnation are you? Well, look at there, Woodrow. We got us a rescue party. I do not know why. I certainly did not send for one. I have no need of any help. Certainly not from some kind of circus performer. Now, Woodrow, be polite. Don't mind the captain here. He don't take well to strangers. You say you have a letter? Why, Woodrow? It's from Lorena. Her again? So are we to give up on our new ranch because she feels faint? That's enough of that, you old buzzard. Listen, sailor. We're in a tough spot. Woodrow and I fought our share of bison, but these are different. I'll tell you what. Let's drive these mangy brutes away. Then you can take some messages back to civilization for us. I must say, stranger, you're tougher than you look. I know Lorena's waiting on us, but I'm afraid Woodrow and I ain't ready to give up on Ogallala just yet. It's high time we got word back to friends and kin of how we're doing. I've got two letters for you. Take the first to my cousin Lucas at Gold Creek, and then head back to Cooper's Roost and deal with Miss Lorena. gonna have a hard time making it out at the edge of nowhere. I told him Ogallala was a pipe dream, but he'd have none of it. Thanks for the letter, stranger. Good luck dealing with Miss Lorena.
was supposed to be coming back. Oh, you have a letter. I thought Gus meant it when he told me he was finally ready to take me to Marleybone. Ranching, bison fighting. How can I compete with that? I uh, thank you, Captain, for your help. Here's our agreed price. Don't worry about me. This dove is quite used to being lonesome. Bison warrior gave me his spear before he died. He told me to watch over it and find a peaceful place to bury his prized possession. Take the spear and bury it on the sacred island at the bison village to settle the warrior's restless spirit. Once that's done, speak with Raven Eyes, the tribal elder. Spear belonged to Skyfire, a great warrior in my tribe, Windrider. By surrendering his spear to Mother Sky, you freed him to walk with the spirits. Hokahe! Mm -hmm. 